Take a little trip on the mountaintop. Show them people how to eagle a rock. You gotta warm it up to me. Warm it up to me. Taking it seriously was something that kind of snuck up on me. You know, I didn't, I didn't really start taking it seriously until the ukulele renaissance, because for a long time it was just me and Tiny Tim. You know, at least on the mainland. You know, there, there's always been. I don't mean to sound pompous or anything, because there's always been great uke players in the islands. But you know, I would only visit the islands occasionally. But you know, on the mainland. Uh, Tiny Tim and his his oddity as a person cast a shadow over the instrument, at least on the on the mainland. You know, it, it, you know, it never had that effect in the islands. But but his presence kind of cast a shadow. And then after he passed away, the clouds parted and the ukulele renaissance began. Now I have nothing against Tiny Tim. He was a brilliant musicologist. But he was one eccentric mother for you, and 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 uh, I mean, I mean, he was unpleasant to look at, and he was really odd and kind of scary, you know. And he played the ukulele, so it didn't do the uke any favors. But once he he excused himself, once he went out that door, the ukulele was, was sitting there, and it's all of a sudden, ooh, this is a cool little instrument. For rhythm, I imitate guitar players, but not just any guitar players. I imitate swing guitar players who are experts at playing really good rhythm. And up until recently, those guitar players were Eddie Lang and Django Reinhardt. And um, I haven't listened much to Freddie Green because he's always embedded in the Count Basie Orchestra. You can't, you can feel him, but you can't hear him that well. And um, just recently, thanks to, um, oh, oh, and then living guitar players. There's two that I really, uh, uh, one that I played with for a long time and I really idolized, and that's John Reynolds. He lives in Southern California, um, and he started out on banjo. So banjo informs a lot of, tenor banjo informs a lot of his guitar playing, but that's more his soloing, but when he does rhythm, He's very much coming out of Eddie Lang and uh, Django. And, um, oh, and also Alan Roos. Alan Roos was, uh, uh, good, played rhythm guitar with Benny Goodman and was a fantastic uh, rhythm player. And uh, just re and, oh, and, and the other living uh, guitarist that I really listen to a lot is Matt Munisteri in New York. And, um, Matt's a great rhythm player. He's also a great soloist, but uh, he's now teaching classes in swing rhythm guitar. Thank goodness somebody is, because boy, do they need it, you know? Because in the '70s, in uh, unfortunately my generation, there's a lot of hippie, you know, wanky, you know, like, uh, and that's BS, you know. It you need space between the beats. You need a real simple, consistent, even, steady beat, and you're providing a rhythm for dancing, you know. I mean, it's also a great springboard for soloing. And if you listen to some of the classic jazz recordings um, from the 19, late 20s up and through the late 30s, um, uh, rhythm guitar is essential, you know, or prior to that, rhythm banjo. And then there's transition phase where they had... Um, um, resonator guitars or resonator tenor guitars like uh, this guy who played with uh, Louis Armstrong, Mike McKendrick. He played a national tenor guitar. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's, that's I, I try to make a rhythm and I try to imitate the sound and the feel of guitar players playing rhythm. I don't listen to ukulele players. This is uh, imitating not just an instrument but it's imitating a feel that a rhythm section would make like on a, a Louis Jordan um, recording or Louis Prima copied this beat and uh, even there's there's some of the early Elvis Presley tunes like All Shook Up use the same basic rhythm and it goes like this
if you were swimming, you'd be doing the backstroke. Because uh, I'm using the, uh, the, the meat part of my index finger to strum back on the strings. And that's where my sound is coming from. And then also, I frame the beat with a little flip of my thumb. At like at the end, we're took, talking about two bar phrases. So, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Two bars. That's the phrase. Two, three, four. That's two bars. That's a two bar phrase. And then I'll do. So that's a couple of two bar phrases. Anyway, that's my, that's my shuffle strum. Come on, mama,